Okay, I just finished up first annual for the MH1 out of annual inspection and ready to be put back into the air. I have um, uh, lost some weight, uh, made some major modifications to the uh, to the uh, oil system. I've uh, replaced all of my old orange lines that you saw in the videos that were running all up through here with nice neat braided lines that go around. I've redone the coolant system. All the hoses run direct with preformed tubes now. You know, straight out of there into the neck. I do done away with this. I have no more hose down there going into that other side. Run a preformed hose secured with Adel clamps all the way down to the uh, radiator now with preformed hoses and uh, lost about uh, seven or eight pounds so far and I have not gotten a chance to uh, put the coolant back in the system because I found this and I didn't like that and I remembered that when I first put this thing together it's one of those things where you go oh, I'll replace that later on and then you forget about it but anyway I found it on this uh, deal new coolant tank will be here in the morning supposedly by the mail so if everything's right we'll get this puppy back out tomorrow fire it up and uh, do some test runs on this bad boy anyway that's it it looks a lot cleaner now with all that stuff gone and uh, man what a beast you should feel the beast anyway there you go oh and uh, the vent some of you Yamaha guys are doing what I was doing and not venting so this engine has you know I've got a vent screen up here but this engine has several um, you know it has the vacuum port here that vents out of the crankcase well this also vents this tube up under here vents the head and the water pump out and it has to have vacuum to vent it properly and that's why uh, I was getting that I was venting out of here and down through some uh, oil filters that you can see down there or some fuel filters actually you can see down there in some of my videos with hoses coming out and I was just getting blowed oil everywhere well this right here should cure this problem it the crankcase and the oil are tied in into this T right here this T right here and it goes into the breather box in the clean air side and it is pulling some good vacuum so it's uh, that should take care of it and that would be what I would suggest somebody do with their Yamaha's of course most of them Yamaha guys are putting single air filters on there and that's really not what's supposed to be on there but you know you do what you want to do you know Okay, the air breather on this Yamaha engine is designed to work as a plenum. As you know, it equalizes out all the carburetors uh, to each other, and also it it um, allows you to pull vacuum and have a vacuum side to help the motor vent properly. Uh, this breather that I've got on my ship it was one that was made by Mike Travis, and of course it weighs three pounds five ounces but since Mike made it and he's passed now I will keep it on here and keep Mike with me for a while now but we do have a new design I'll show you some pictures of it here uh, this is the the what we call the cure it's nice it's 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 expensive but it's all aluminum weighs very little the filter weighs more than the whole thing does uh, but it'll work for the gyro guys as well and it'll uh, definitely enhances the performance of the aircraft I couldn't believe how much anyway I will be putting that on the website here soon for sale and if anybody would like one just give me a shout and we'll see what we can do to get you one fixed up also I have created a maintenance program for the MH1 and you can see all the things that have to be checked and signed off you can see where I've signed them off over here uh, you can see where the modifications that I made and signed off and all this is just a sample of what's of what we're doing but we, we've got a spreadsheet and everything 
to sign off and of course the pictures of the changes that I made are all in the log book and logged and of course all uh, I got to redo this because I changed the coolant hoses while it was down <clears throat> and uh, I'll re-sign it off